morning guys we woke up in a really cute little park i know in Cocoa beach it was that nice, we it, was last nice. Night. it was nice we might go back there again and we'll show you a little bit later but we woke up pretty early this morning to head over to publix get some water um and now it's right at nine o'clock and we're going to da -da -da -da. if you could see it ron john ron john and then the beach is literally right that way. Yeah. So Ranjan is kind of a staple of Cocoa Beach. If you don't go, what are you doing? And then where are we going for lunch, babe? Rock the guac. Rock the guac. You kind of have to. You have to. If it's literally here. here. I'll lift the camera. So right now I'm by the 7-Eleven. The bus. Yes. The beach is that way. Ranjan. Ranjan. And then right where is this tattoo right there? This building right here. That's where Rock the Guac is, and you have to go there. When? Because it is delicious. Like the first year we started dating, I think we went to the beach twice. We went once with our friends, and then we went once with Trevor's parents. And apparently Trevor's parents and Trevor's family go like all the time. They used to go all the time. Since we've been together, they've gone like on weekends. So it's very cool that they invited me when we first started dating, and so I got to experience it all with them. And they know what's up. They know what's up out here. Because you go to Rock of Walk, Ron John, all that good stuff. It was super cool. Mm -hmm. we get to Gotta have some really cool beachy music behind this. <laughs> Trevor, what? can we go get tattoos? No. Damn it. I mean, darn it. This is a kid friendly. You can get. It's not kid friendly. It's a kid friendly channel. No, it's not. It's only PG 13 to be real with you. Wait till we get to Key West. Cool. Oh, God. Apparently, what I've heard is that it's Fantasy Festival. That was a very chunky lizard. Hold on, I want to see it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Cool. Apparently, Sorry. what I've heard is that it's like Fantasy Festival in Key West for like the next week and a half. And... Which means it, people it, run around. Hey, that's what Charlie said, so I don't know what's going on. How much do we actually trust Charlie's he, information though? Yeah, and he hasn't even been through it yet, so. <laughs> we shall see. But apparently all of his Coast Guard members are hiding. <laughs> Alright, we're It's a little hydro flask cup thing. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, I think your drink goes in there. Oh, really? I think you take this off, and then your drink goes in there. What drink's gonna fit in there? A slim Sprite. <laughs> a slim Sprite. <laughs> Those ones? Yeah, what do you think? I think they look good on you. You should get them. They do not make look like an alien. No. These are kids' glasses. <laughs> you throw the water. And it sprays at you. And it sprays at you. Go for it. What you got there? My man. He looks kind of flat like this. It's a good song. Hurry before we copyright it. Copyright. Okay. Um. So, manatee, but he's full of like. Back. He's full of like the little beans, and you put them in the microwave, and he heats up, and you can put him on your belly when you're cramping, or on my old lady back because my back hurts all the time. And I was just talking about this with Trevor's mom yesterday, so I might get him. I Maybe. think you should get him. Maybe. Unicorns and mermaids. Unicorns and mermaids.
You see him right there, right over there? I see Black tips. One of Trevor's favorite shirts. Yep. What's your favorite favorite? Thresher. Mako. Mako Island. Mako Mermaids. H2O first. H2O. And then Mako. We're watching H2O right now. Injustice. We're also watching Injustice. I don't know why we're on a kid show kick lately. <laughs> So I had to use the plastic Starbucks cup, but this drink if anyone wants to know hold on I'll make it look prettier if Anyone wants to know this is my favorite Non-coffee Starbucks drink and it's a mango a venti mango dragon fruit refresher with lemonade not water and Extra mango base and extra inclusions if you get the venti and don't add the extra inclusions of mango Then it's like pale and it just tastes like lemonade and it's no no good but Rating. What's your rating? Eight one. Eight one. Okay, I'll take it. I'll From take Starbucks. it. Starbucks. Actually, I'm gonna bring Starbucks, so I can't really do a base rating, but pretty good. Eight, yeah. eight four. Well, we went to the Starbucks that's inside the what's it called, the Cocoa Beach Surf Company. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a Starbucks in there, and there's a restaurant on the other side of that tank that we were looking at. And usually, when we come with Trevor's family, we stay in the hotel where the rooms actually overlook the big shop, which is pretty cool. And it's like right next to Ron John and the beach and everything, so pretty awesome. What'd you get, Angel? I think you know what I got. Nice little hat. And uh, there's yeah. a tea. There's what'd a... you get in? What's in the bag? Oh, what's in the bag? I got my cousins that we're gonna see in Miami two sea stars to play with. And Trevor, got sticker. yeah, Trevor got his sticker, even though we already have one. Trevor got his free sticker because they collect them. Yes. Slap it on. Got our first local beach sticker. Like that. Go for it. Nice. All right. No <laughs> way. Because the one on my truck is messed up. <laughs> yeah. How's that? Looks good. Wait, what the heck? There we go. Just a little bit of paper. There you go. What? Uh, is spicy or not spicy? It's not spicy. Yeah, yeah, we don't want spicy. Oh, you want you want spicy? Oh my god. It's kind of like a the bar thing, like Chipotle, but 10 times better. Oh yeah, definitely. 10 times better. First Look plate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Holy guacamole. Mm -hmm. Get it? Because we're at Rock the Guac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good? Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Does again. Rock the block. 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm -hmm. Beach, you have to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shameless plug. Hey, find it. Don't steal it, just follow us. Take a picture of yourself with it. Take a picture of yourself and we'll send you a sticker. Yeah. That we'll we don't have yet. But we'll make a sticker. And we'll send just it for just for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're gonna go put it up there. Okay, you can 
find our dolly bill, I will personally design and send you a sticker. Ready for the beach? Yeah, look at the Ninja Turtles mural. They're pretty far, I'm gonna zoom in. They're pretty cute. Hey. Fun day at the beach? Yeah, such a fun day at the beach. Action. This is our Cocoa Beach picture spot. We always sit here. That's cute. It's a little tunnel. It's so cute. I love it. And the light always looks so good. Because it's like natural light coming through just a little bit. And it's not too dark. It always looks so nice. The pictures always so cute. The only thing I hate about this spot are these stupid berries. Know, they're, like stepping they're like on. stepping on them, bro. And I got the juices in me to my toes. Feels like I'm mushing cranberries. Nice. We should do that. That sounds like fun. Anyway, keep our Instagram. It does. Okay. <laughs> keep our Instagram. Give it a like, a follow, share. So currently it's just me and Angel here on the river. Bus is right over there. Go check it. Got my little fishing pole. I don't have any live bait on because this is like kind of time. So hopefully I get something on this guy and just hang out. It's beautiful outside, nice and windy. It's like, feels like 75, but it's probably higher. There she is walking over with flounder, but yeah. There's a cute little park. What? He's creeping up on you. I know. I don't have anything for you, my guy. <laughs> his, what if I could? I don't have anything yet. His little steps. He's being sneaky. He's a wood stork. An endangered species here in Florida. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice zoom in on your face. How you doing, Flounder? Getting comfy. Aww. Watching the boat get pulled out. He's watching the boat. So what's going on, Angel? We just got to our little campground. Typically, we want to stay boondocking as much as possible because it's one free and you get some cool locations. But every once in a while, especially before a busy week, we kind of want to take a breath and camp for a little bit somewhere where we know that we have AC and, you know, hookups and all that good stuff. So this is only $25 for the night, which is pretty, I think it's a pretty good price. It was $30. $30, but we get, you know, hookup, bathroom, water, all that stuff. And they have cool events, hiking trails, a swimming place, right? Yeah. Um, it's all on the river, which is a little bit of a walk, but. Um, yeah, it's very cool. What's this place called again? Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Right there. And, and it'll probably, um, the price will probably go up pretty soon just because it's going in the season. Right, right. So. It makes sense. And I'm sure the primitive camping is cheaper 
but no it's the same price oh is it yeah Ooh, but they do have a bunch of passes this is a really good little guy but we might go see the visitor center and a couple other little things that they have poking around out here uh, before we have a chill night because tomorrow is our extra special little excursion that we're doing and we're keeping it a secret again until the next video but we're very excited about it so we're gonna take a chill pill and sleep in and just enjoy our night before then so I know I just said it, but I still think this is a really good deal because again, $30. It also includes um, the admission for any of these guided hikes. Um, this guided hike, like different nature walks, kids things that you can do at the educational center, um, like programs, events, all this cool stuff is included. Um, as well as this fire fest that they have annually. We missed it by like a couple days. Actually one day, we missed it by yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday. Um, but they have like a fun little, like, I don't know, it's a yearly event where they do like hay rides and pumpkin patch and music, guided also, tours, ghost tours. They have, stuff. they have these really nice bike trails. We're 100% getting a bike rack for the front of the bus and we're gonna put and the bikes like, on there. And like green, blue, Black. I'm guessing it's the same thing as skiing. But so you can put two and two together, but this place is super. It's pretty cool. dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll come back if we're in this area for sure. Mm -hmm. We're currently doing a geocatch here. I see it. I found it before you did. No, you did not. It's right there. You're lying to me. Oh. Loser, and I didn't have the directions. We'll go look in the other spot. Now we know what to look for. These directions suck. Now we know what to look for, though. No, you don't know what to look for. They're all different. But I found it. Let's see what's inside. Okay, come, on. come on. Come on. Open it. This direction set up. They were, it was five meters that way. Open it up. What's in the box? Whoa. Stuff. Pen. We have to sign this, and then we put our names and our What Instagram else is in line. there? Okay. An airplane. Bro, there's no money? An airplane. Is it a Super Bowl ring? Um, no, it's a butterfly ring. Mardi Gras beads. It's NFL sports beads. Wow. And a frog. Cute. Fruit. So nice. I, if I had something to put back, then I would take the little frog. But I don't have anything. So we're just going to open this, and we're going to sign it, and then we're going to put it back. There's a lot in this park, too. Another cool thing for the park. Woo! This one's been found a lot. Well, look how easy it was. Yeah, Sign. Whatever. At We Know The Way. What's today's date? The today's the 16th. 16th? 10. 16. Hmm. Oh gosh, this pen's dying. No! Well, we found it. This is proof. I found it. Yeah, I'm right. Come on, Penn. Won't reveal the location. We found the second one. Geocache number two. It's a micro one in a pill bottle. One point Angel. One point Trevor. Yay. I forgot a pen. So, on to the next one. So, not only do we have this little campsite with a picnic table, and a grill and a fire pit and a clothesline, but they're pretty close to the other one, but luckily we have nobody on either side. We have Florida Prairie Lands all behind us. Beautiful. We can explore back there all we want. Speaking of, I'll show you what we did find. And Angelina. I know for me to sleep, but it's a little legless lizard. Not a snake. No, we know it's not a snake. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, um, but you can kind of see slight differences in their heads. And also, generally, if you look from the top, legless lizards generally um, have an even 
body shape. Like their head and their body is equally the same width. Whereas most snakes will have a very definitive shaped head compared to their like slim body. Think of like a ball python with their little eight shaped head, you know, and then they've got a big body. Um, you know, there's sand boas, which look similar to this, but this is obviously not a sand boa because they're not from here. And he's moving so slow. They're so stiff. I'm very surprised. Put him down. He's mm -hmm. really cute. Hey, little guy. And he didn't mind me picking him up at all. Like, oops. Sorry, just get him. Touch his tail. He's got a little lure tail that looks like a worm. See, so he'll stick his tail up and wiggle it. He's super cute. Huh? Interesting. We were taking Flounder on a little walk and we came across a den, which if you're from Florida, you know what these usually hold. Uh, but I didn't see what, anything in there at first. Trevor said he th saw something um, slithering in there. So I thought it would be an Eastern Indigo snake, which are my favorite snake species. But I got down here and I got a little bit of a closer look. Just barely see in there. There you go for tortoise. Hi, little guy. He's so cute. I'm not gonna bug him because they are um, a protected endangered species. So I don't wanna mess with his nest at all, get super close to him. But um, yeah, it's so nice to see them in their dens and everything because they're such a special species for Florida. So it's really nice to see them thriving. It's morning time. It's morning. It's morning. And this campground has showers. It does. Real showers inside a nice clean stall with closed doors. Now, since it's a new day, yesterday's vlog is going to, since we were at the same campgrounds, is gonna go into last week's Cocoa Beach vid. Mm -hmm. um, today, it's going into the new week's vid. The uh, Jupiter, the Jupiter vid. vid. Which, pretty crazy stuff's gonna happen today. Mm -hmm. I still don't wanna give, give it away hint. yet. I'll give you a hint. Okay, a little hint. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Good hint. See if you can catch it. See, look. Oh, we haven't been to this one. Okay, but yeah. Bathroom. Oh, yeah. Cool. It is the same one. Done with our showers, and they had hot water which I was not expecting for this free shower access, um, which was super nice. So we had hot water and they have a vending machine over there, which is cool. Um, but yeah, one day soon we'll do probably like a shower routine or something um, because we have a nifty little way to put all of our bathroom and shower stuff. Um, but we are going to get ready, maybe go geocaching a little bit and then head to the visitor center so we can check stuff out before we go yeah. to our special thing. Yeah. 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 You Sounds didn't even like, know what I was saying. Yeah. You said we're going to go to the visitor center and go geocaching before we do our special thing. All right. All right. You're paying attention. I'll That's not just making noise, those are actual birds outside. <laughs> oh, I know, they're so cute. I wonder if they changed it for Halloween. I wonder if they did change that for Halloween, Trevor, with the spider webs and the skeleton fish. It's scaring the turtle. Florida mud turtle. Florida mud turtle. Can't see his head. It's too far back. Hey little guy. That's on your shirt. It's so much coffee, bro. It's on all over all my clothes. I'm trying to get new clothes. I know. <laughs>
milkweed, butterflies, love, milkweed. Yes. You I don't know if Curtis is milkweed's good. Maybe Jones, maybe Adams, <laughs> but they like milkweed. <laughs> Just, okay. Yeah. Keep going. Just keep going. Okay, one second. Okay. Um, this is the spray. Okay, I got the tofu, the herring, and the crane lamp. This is the crane. This is the herring. And this has to be. Alright, check your. Oh, that one worked. Oh, you can hold at the same time. Oh, do it. Okay, now check your check your stuff. Oh, <laughs> just says facts. Cool facts. It's because it was wrong. Dude, I had it right. Also, I'm obsessed with all of these information cards. Like, I can't help but pick them all up. Especially these Fandexes. I've been wanting some of these for forever because they're so cool. Such an interactive way to like look through and learn about new stuff. It's awesome. I want these. They have a, um, uh, what's the one that they have over there? They have a bird one and a reptile one. I saw a cat one at the vet once. It's really cool. I want these. So if anyone wants to give me a gift, these are awesome. Also, just any cool native flashcards.